The Department of Finance has denied speculation that it could have to seek international financial support. It comes after the cost of borrowing reached its highest level since Ireland joined the euro. The rise in borrowing costs saw heavy falls in the value of Irish bank shares, with AIB down more than 11%. Next Tuesday, the National Treasury Management Agency plans to borrow €1.5 billion Euro from the financial markets. At the start of the week, the cost of borrowing was 5.8%, but by this evening, rumours had pushed it to almost 64 that speculation was partly based on reporting of research by Barclays Bank. The bank had said Ireland did not need support from the EU and from the IMF, but it said that could change if things worsen. In a statement today, the IMF said it did not envisage that Ireland would need help. Let's be clear about this report. What it said was that the government has taken the right steps at the right time. It also pointed out that the government has no difficulty funding itself but it did, correctly in my view, signal the fact that we have to be extremely careful how we proceed in the future. Our debts are manageable and our rescue of the bank is manageable. There's a risk that the government will bungle their way into a position where the IMF will have to intervene, even though it's unnecessary. Peter Brown is a former trader with Barclays Bank who now teaches. There's been no weakness in the euro and no deterioration in other bond prices. This is an Irish issue. Uh, and unfortunately what's happened here is the market's lost confidence in Ireland. Uh, the prevarication and the length of time it's taken us to give them a figure of what the final bank bailout is. Um, and considering that the US managed to kind of uh, sort the Lehman's thing out in a matter of weeks, um, has basically presented us as a target to the speculators in the market. There's an awful lot of nervousness about Ireland these days and it's likely to remain that way until the government produces a final plan which includes numbers to show the financial markets exactly how we're going to get out of this mess. David Murphy, RT News, the National Treasury Management Agency.